Terminal 2, the medical fund is uh, set up in response to an increasing number of patients that uh, come to Metal Clinic, which is on the Thai Burma border. These patients came in with desperate need of healthcare services that Burma cannot provide. The cases that come to us that need special treatments such as cardiac surgery, gastro surgeries, or congenital birth defects. We can uh, get up to about 15 cases, new cases, um, a week. These cases need to be sent to Chiang Mai, which is the major teaching Thai hospital, and it's about um, 350 cases away. To, to get these patients treated and send them home, we need help. We need funding that we can get for patients to, uh, to give them basically the simple right, which is the right to healthcare services that they need, so they can live on and be the uh, future of their people, which is in Burma. I've got some of the um, old cases, successful cases, that uh, is here with me at the moment. One is a young girl that came to us with her father with uh, abdominal full fluid. She had a heart problem that uh, her, fa her family could not, well, they tried to treat her, but uh, with no luck because they don't have any funding to do so. So somebody told them to come to the clinic in the hope that we can take them on and, and, and get her treated. She came to us with a big fluid in her abdominal, which has pushed her umbilical cord to creating a hernia. She had her heart surgery done, her hernia repair, and she's ready to go home and start working and supporting her family. <laughs> There's another young man. Um, he's from one uh, area, border that he's a young, frustrated man that don't know what's wrong with him, even though after he found out what's wrong with him, he could not get treatment because he's, he's got no funding to do so. When I saw him, he didn't even have enough money to buy Aspro for, for his heart conditions. So we took him on and now he had his heart surgery done, he had a valve replacement and he's, you know, he wants to go home and start reunited with his brother and his mother and start working. We have got many more of these cases coming in every day and we need your help um, to save them. And because the clinic cannot do so. So if we don't, if we don't do it, they'll probably go home and suffering or die, end up dying.